So I guess this is finally happening. I've literally been putting this off since last year. I don't know what it is about long form content that just terrifies me. Honestly, it makes no sense, but here we are and I'm giving it my best shot. So last night I got home from Barcelona after spending a few days there to celebrate my birthday. And today I'm feeling so drained. So today's priority is to have a bit of a reset day. Normally after traveling, my apartment will be in complete chaos for like a week because I will put off all the necessary tasks I need to do to just get some form of stability back in the house, such as unpacking a suitcase, which is the worst task in the world. So this time I'm gonna try and break that habit and I'm gonna use you almost as a body doubling to make that happen. So let's reset the day with me. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Entice myself to do the boring tasks by starting with the fun one, which track record never actually works. I always end up then just not doing the boring tasks. But today, I feel different. Anyway, just before I went away, Philip sent me this bad boy. It's the Home Run 7000 series, but in my terms, it's a little cleaning robot. I have wanted one of these for the longest time because I hate cleaning the floors with all of my heart. But it's something that you have to do, especially when you have a pet like I do, who loves to get as messy as possible at every single given chance. And on top of that, I live in a new build apartment. So the dust is relentless. So I'm extremely happy about this situation going on right now. Also, not only does it vacuum, it mops. So yeah, I think it's time to set this up and give it a play. So the setup was really easy and it managed to scan the room super quickly. The fact that it mops and vacuums at the same time makes me really happy and is going to be a massive game changer in this house. So the robot uses 360 laser navigation to scan the rooms and create these cool little interactive maps that you can see on the app. It also allows you to set up no-go zones. But what I love the most is that it automatically detected my rug and set it as a no-mop zone on its own. You can then in the app choose to make it a no-go zone completely or switch it so that the robot only vacuums when in that area, which is what I did. So Milo is typically scared of his own shadow, so it might take a while for me to get him used to. But as for me, I'm now well accustomed to having my floors cleaned as I sit back and relax. Or having it work alongside me as I complete other chores, so I can get to relaxing or twerking quicker. Once it is done, it takes itself back home to charge up and empty out the dust bag. Thank you so much to Philips for sponsoring this video and taking cleaning the floors off my to-do list. And here are the final results. Honestly, the floors are spotless. Can we just take a moment for my innovation here? <laughs> so I didn't want to put the dirty suitcases on my bed, but my apartment is too small. And I also didn't want to like crouch down on the floor to unpack the suitcases. I think it works, I like it. Do I fit? Damn it. So one thing I've noticed as I'm trying to film this video today is that I need to get a new camera or a new lens, I'm not sure. I'm using a 16 to 50 lens, which I thought would be more than enough, but yeah, apparently my apartment just is not that big. So either every YouTuber I watch lives in a fucking mansion, or I just have the wrong equipment, I don't know, because this just is not working. That kind of works. I'll just bring this back and I'll just stand even further away. And I'm not even tall, I'm 5'7". My short ass should be fitting in this screen. Anyway. Round over. A little disclaimer here before I start taking all this out and you lot judge me for how much are in these suitcases. This is shared luggage between me and my boyfriend, okay? So this is not all me. Yes, it still is too much to take for a three day trip, but I like options. So I have this really bad habit of going away and needing to buy a second suitcase to return because I shop too much or thrift too much. And this trip was no different. I know it's bad. I know it's a bad habit, but I can't help myself because thrifting abroad is just better. Now, also during this trip, I went to a outlet, which was, um, you know what? I want to say it was a mistake, but it really wasn't because I'm really happy with everything I bought.
one luggage down. Okay, luggage two. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Well, don't you think my collection's complete? So this isn't mine, but my boyfriend found this puffer jacket. I forgot that I wrapped up um, delicate presents in that jacket, and that's what that bang was. It feels okay. We're gonna hope for the best. Anyway, back to the jacket. It's very cute, but it's also very large and took up a lot of the space in our luggage. Ta-da! And we're done. And now I just have a shitload of laundry to do. Milo just got back from staying with a friend for the past few days while we were away and he is absolutely exhausted. He comes straight in and got straight on the sofa and he's not moved since. Which no complaints because I got enough to do today, but look at him. You tired, Milo? You sleepy? This is probably the most boring and most adult thing I can ever talk about, but when I tell you that this piece of furniture is my favourite thing I have ever bought. So my apartment is small, right? But living in London, that is very normal. So moving into a small apartment meant I had to be really conscious about the pieces of furniture I was buying. I got super excited to buy furniture when I moved in here because I was like, it's my first home. Like, I can actually buy furniture instead of living in rental properties where your bed probably has that one dodgy corner that you can't put too much weight on or a sofa that you cover in blankets because you don't want to see what it looks like underneath. So I really wanted to go all out but then I realised just how big furniture is. And so the main thing when I was looking for furniture was that I had to find things that could serve multiple purposes. So for example, in this space I couldn't have just bought a small dining table because this is the entirety of my kitchen. So there's not much space here for storage, but there's definitely no space for prep and cooking. So I decided instead of getting a dining table, I would get a kitchen island. But then I didn't want to get a kitchen island because this space is also where I film all of my videos. So every time you see a YouTube short of me dancing around, getting dressed, this is where I film it. So I had to get a kitchen island that I could move easily. But then because I wasn't getting a dining table, where was I going to eat? So I had to get one that came with a breakfast bar. So yeah, this may just seem like a kitchen island, but this is also where I make my food, where I eat food, where I work some days, where I do my ironing. It's, it's everything. But today, it is going to be where I put my folded laundry. Living in a world plagued by his ADHD, one man defies it all in a race against all distractions to fold away all the laundry and leave it in that pile for at least a week before putting it away into the wardrobe. on ending this reset day in a super chilled way, maybe order a takeaway, watch a film, go to bed early kind of vibe because like I said at the beginning I'm exhausted. But I forgot that I had organised drinks with some friends. Um, so here I am in a last minute panic, I've got like 20 minutes to leave um, and I'm going to try and freshen up. <laughs> fit 
check before I leave. 